Welcome back to We All Playcast, and we're on to Thomcraft Part 2. And what a, on this episode, we're going to be talking about the aura and ways to manipulate the aura. It's kind of been very brief, uh, the explanation of this and what we can actually do with the aura. And first thing I'm going to start with is we need a way to measure it. We need to know how much Vs, which is the positive energy, and how much taint is in our atmosphere at any given moment. And why is this good? Why is this bad? That's what this episode is all about. So let's take a look at our aura. And the first thing we're going to craft is a couple of items that are going to allow us to measure the Vs and the taint in our atmosphere. So take a look at the recipes. What we're going to start with is a Vs detector. And the second item is going to be a taint detector. And both of them are very, very closely uh, related in the recipes. They are both crafted in the Thaumic Infuser by using a compass, a gold ingot, and we're going to grab our crystals here. One is the tainted crystal for the tank detector, and one is the Vs crystal for the Vs detector. So let's go ahead and craft that, these two items, and we'll see what they do. All right, Thaumic Infuser is going up. It's working through, and our our Vs looks like it's going down. That gives us a taint detector. Next one is going to be our Vs detector. We'll put that in here. Now we have a combination of Vs and taint. All right, so let's take a look at this. All right, so I'm going to put them in our hot bar, and as soon as I do, what's going to happen is we're going to get our these meters down in the lower right-hand corner. And the light purple is our Vs detector, and our dark purple one is our taint detector. Now one thing to note is right now as you can see there is a little bit of a halo on the taint detector and that means that this is basically taint charged right now. Now the reason for that we have negatively effect our, affected our aura by filtering out our taint from, with our Vs filter. So that's why our, we are currently charged up with a tainted energy. Now the other function that these perform is you can right click on anything and they will give you the, a reading of what the taint is and a reading of what the Vs is. Detected 254. So we can tell how much taint and Vs we have left in our storage tank, so that's always nice. So I'm going to go ahead and make some more just because we're going to be a little bit... Uh, we're going to need a little bit of, of Vs for our episode here. So I'll go ahead and throw these in here. And as you can see, it'll be filtering out, and you can watch our meters. What does this mean for us? What is the goodness? What's the good things for this, and what are the bad things for this? All right. First thing is, when we have a positively charged area, we can use this by gathering up the Vs in the aura into liquid Vs. And one of the ways that we do that is we use a... Vs condenser, and we'll go ahead and craft one of those. This is a shapeless recipe, which means that we can craft this in our regular crafting table. And this is going to take one Vs crystal and a few other items, and we'll just craft it in here. So we have our enchanted wood, and that's three enchanted wood across the bottom. We have some Vs conduit goes in the center here, two iron ingots, and the Vs crystal on top. And that will make us a Vs condenser. Now what this does is this actually produces no taint, it will produce only Vs. Now if you take a look at the interface, what this will take is a crystal on the left hand side and it will slowly drain the Vs out of the aura. Now this will actually affect the aura because it is a finite amount that is in there and we're just pulling out it bit by bit. It is rather slow, it's not the fastest way to generate Vs, the crucible is much faster, but the crucible also creates taint, which, as you can see, is negatively affecting our atmosphere because we're using this Vs filter. All right, so let's go ahead and put a crystal in here, and we're just going to grab, we'll say, maybe five earthen crystals because that seems to be what we had the most of. We'll go ahead and throw those in there, and we'll see what happens. As you can see, the crystal gets uh, put on top, so you can kind of see what, what's in there and see the status of it from afar. We don't have to click it. But right now, it is condensing, and this will slowly deplete and when this is done, there'll be a depleted crystal over here. This is currently creating Vs, and what it's also doing is pulling out the Vs from our atmosphere or our aura. Now, that's all well and good, but that's a way to grab the positive energy out of the atmosphere. Now, what we're doing right now, everything is kind of bad news. We're pulling out the positive, 
we're pumping in negative so eventually the tainted portion this entire area will be tainted so we need a way to control this and in the, in the start of Thomcraft most of the things are kind of bad for your aura they don't do too many good things and uh, we're going to kind of condense these into one other item which you can combine these to make a thermometer which is the combination of a taint detector and a V's detector so let's take a look how to make that that one again is crafted in our thomic infuser and that is a combination of a taint detector, a V's detector, and all four elemental crystals. Because there is a tainted crystal, there's a V's crystal, and then there are four elemental crystals. So we'll take one of each of those, and we'll put them with our detectors in the Thomic Infuser. And I believe this is a shapeless recipe, but don't quote me on that. We'll take a look and see if it works. Alright, looks like it is, or I got extremely lucky. But that's going to start using our vis once again, and that makes a thermometer. Now, a thermometer now takes up one slot, but as you can see, there's a couple other functions that this has. We can click on something, and we can also see the storage capacity of any given portion. Yep, it has a nice little beep, boop, beep, boop. So you can kind of see that this is uh, starting to get. Um, a good reading for our taint and our vis, and it also gives us a nice indication of our aura. Now, be careful of that halo that kind of gives you a negatively and positively charged area. Now, if you look at it, if I walk in here, right now we have a negatively charged area because we've been pumping in quite a lot of taint. All right, so how can we fix this? What can we do about it? There are several ways, and what we're going to be covering in this episode is the ways that we can do this without doing any of our uh, discoveries yet. We're not doing any of the discoveries. We'll be covering that in our next episode. Alright, so how do we manipulate the aura? Alright, the first way we actually already covered, which is we can negatively manipulate the aura by, by filtering out the taint from our V system here. And what that's doing is that's negatively affecting our aura. Alright, which is, all in all, not good things. What we need to do is have a way that we can positively affect our aura. Now, there are several ways to do this, and one of the easiest ways to do it is if you walk, look around the world, there are these silverwood trees. Oh, shoot. And we got ourselves a werewolf. And I'm sure that I don't have my gold sword anywhere, so we're just going to fly a little bit. But by no mistake, I kind of settled around a place with a lot of positive aura. And if you look at the meter, you can see that we have a halo around our Vs meter, and that's telling us that we have a positive aura in this area. So we have a nice amount of that, and this will raise the vis in the aura over time. And I did find an area over here that had an extraordinarily high amount of vis in the aura. So let's go take a peek at that real quick. We'll go ahead and fly over here. As you can see, as I fly around, it'll give you an indication of whether the taint is rising or lowering in any given area. And as you can see, it's starting to go up really, really high. So let's go over here and we'll take a look at what an extremely high amount of Vs in the aura looks like. So taking a look at it on our meter there, you can see that it is up to, looks like about four bars on the meter. So this is an area of extremely high, extremely high Vs in the aura. Alright, so what can we do with that? Obviously we want our base to have extre extremely high aura, but we don't have it right now. Now, these silverwood trees that do spawn around in the world, they don't have any saplings, they don't have anything that you can, you know, harvest from the trees, but we can artificially do this. One way is to take shears, and the shears will cut the leaves off and give you the leaves, which is an extremely good thing because these have a positive effect on the aura around you. So what we're going to do is we're going to harvest some of this, also an important thing to note is that any of the equivalent exchange shears will not work to harvest this. So you can't come out here with a, like a red matter shears and cut down the entire tree. So we're just going to get a few of these. I don't want to cut down the whole thing. And then we're also going to grab a few of the silverwood logs, which are the bases of the tree. So we're just going to grab that with some axe here. We'll just grab a few logs as well. It's going to be the base for our tree. All right, going to get a few more of these, a few more logs, and we're going to make an artificial tree. And the way that what this is going to do for us is it's going to create a positive effect on the vis and wherever we place this. And we're going to do it right in the middle of our Thomcraft 
area, our little magical, our magical tree area there. So we'll go back to our base. Okay, and now we're back at our base. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get in here, and I'm going to go ahead and make an artificial silverwood tree. Now the configuration really doesn't matter. The only important thing to remember is the leaves behave the same way they would on any normal tree, which is if you break the tree trunk or just try to have the leaves by themselves, it will not work simply because they are leaves and they will fall. Now they don't produce saplings, but every now and again you will get a, uh, a piece of uh, quicksilver off of the leaves as they fall. Alright, so I'm just going to make an artificial tree here, and as you can see, let's take it, give it just a few moments here, because it should be positively affecting our aura once I put this tree in our, our room here. I'm going to go ahead and build it up just a little bit more. Put a little bit more tree here. And actually, we'll put it actually right next to our, where we're uh, condensing and where we're actually filtering as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put the tree right over here in the corner. All right, let's put our leaves down. Let's see what this does for us. That's not good. So we're still going to need that. We're still going to need our... Ooh, interesting to note, you cannot crucible silverwood leaves. And it, if you notice, it also just spits them out when they uh, can't accept it. So I'll go ahead and make a, make a little bit more of these silverwood leaves with all the silverwood logs. Just kind of filling up our area a little bit. And let's see what that does for us. All right, as you can see, we're still... Now we're in an area, and if you take a look at it, before when we were standing in here, we had a tainted charged area. But now if I stand here, we had a positively charged area just a second ago. I had a halo around the Vs meter. And oh, there we go. Got a positively charged area now. So what this is going to do is it's going to slowly ri raise the Vs level in our aura. And it's also going to take care of the taint level. So it will be remain positively charged. And unless we do a huge amount of taint in our, in our area here from the filter, which I don't think we will. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just throw a few more of these in there just to kind of see what happens. And as you can see, we're, we are both positively and negatively charged now because it's filtering this out. But this tree should take care of most of that filtering process. Okay, so what are the effects of this? All right, when you have, some, when you have the complete positive uh, aura, always good things. Everything is kind of normal. Nothing's really going to happen. But a nice side effect is that the crystals that we need for all of these Stormcraft things will generate in this area because we have a high aura of Vs. Now, by retros or contradiction, if we have a negatively charged aura, I did happen to find a naturally tainted area over here. So we're going to go fly over this way. And let's just make sure that I have enough of my Klein Star. 70,000 should be enough EMC to fly around. We're going to go to a tainted area now, and we're going to take a look at what happens and what the effects are when there is a lot of negative energy in a particular area. Okay, and here we are at our tainted area, and I kind of let this go and spread for quite a bit of time. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's done a number on the, on the landscape here. It's uh, got some trees, and, and it's contaminated the ground. And if we look at our aura here on the right-hand corner, it does look like it's about balanced, but I guess that is a, just about enough to create a tainted area. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to harvest some of this because it will be useful for us later. Now it will not replenish, meaning that it's not going to create a new tree here, but this taint will keep spreading as long as the aura remains in a tainted state. So we're going to harvest some, some wood, some leaves, all kinds of different things here, because once again, they'll be useful for us a little bit later when we get into our research. All right, so let's grab a few leaves. All right, some tainted leaves. Got all this nasty stuff. And we can also harvest the plants. As you can see, it's kind of difficult to see in the texture pack, but you can harvest the plants. They're all tainted. These are these are good things to uh, for the research once again, but they're bad things for your environment, especially if you're trying to gather up a lot of Vs. Okay, so that is a explanation of the aura and some easy ways to manipulate the aura to have a positive or negative effect on on it, 
and to change it at will. Please like the episode if you liked it. Please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next episode.